Hi everyone, welcome back to Virtual School, Physics is Fun. Okay, today we are going to learn about uh, phenomena of refraction of water waves in our daily life. Okay, why do we learn refraction of water wave? Obviously, we want to explain certain phenomena yeah, in our daily life that we experience. Yeah? How, why, why does it happen? Okay, now look at this graphic here. It shows the cross-section of the sea. As you can see, as the seabed gets shallow, all right, or the water gets shallower, the wavelength gets shorter. Okay, And we know that in the deep end of the sea, water waves travel faster than in a shallow region. So because of these changes in speed, so wave bend, and we say wave is refracted. All right. So because of these changes of speed uh, in a different depth, refraction occur. Okay. So this different depth causes refraction to take place. Now look at this photograph here. What is so so great about this photograph that I show it here? Can you see anything beautiful here? Yes, you see, the shape of the shore curves this way. And this is the shape of the sea. Can you see that? So we see that the shape of the sea is the same as the shape of the shore. Okay, so this phenomena is the water waves takes the shape of the shore. Beautiful, right? It's marvelous. Huh? So how does this occur? It is all because of refraction of water wave. Okay, let's look at the next picture to explain this. Huh? Now, because uh, at the deep end of the sea, almost, they are almost of the same depth. So because almost the same depth, therefore the wavelength is almost the same. Okay, so the wave front are almost parallel. As water wave approaches the shore, okay, uh, this part of the sea is already near to the shore. So it has become shallow. As compared to this part, it is still far away from the shore. So therefore, it is still deep. Okay, so as water wave becomes shallower, the wavelength decreases. So this part is already shallow, so the wavelength is already shorter than before, you see? As it approaches, it becomes shallower, so the wavelength becomes shorter and shorter and shorter. As compared to here, it is still deep, so the wavelength is still long, it's still long, okay? So you see, it is no longer, the wave front is no longer parallel like here. It slowly curves, right? It slowly curves. And curves more and more and more. So you see, as it approaches the shore, you see the wave front is now same shape as the shore. Okay, so water wave takes the shape of the shore because as depth decreases, wavelength decreases and refraction occurs. So direction of the propagation of wave is perpendicular to the wave perpendicular to the wave front, okay? So the wave will be refracted and takes the shape of the shock. Now, the second phenomena is this. Let's look at these two pictures, okay? So the second phenomena is the sea at the cape is very rough. As compared to sea at the bay, it's so calm. Right? So the second phenomena of the refraction of wave, water waves is sea wave is rough at the cape but calm at the bay. What's the explanation? Alright, so let's use the same picture. So we say that as wave approach the shallow region, okay, so the wavelength 
becomes shorter. And the direction of wave is always 90 degree to the wave front, right? It's always 90 degree, okay? 90 degree, 90 degree. Therefore, the direction of the wave bend towards the cape. See here, it bends towards the cape. So here, same thing, 90 degree. So from here, which is the wave length, uh, the wave front, which is parallel. So the waves are all coming towards the shore. So as it approach the shallow region, because the wave front has already changed shape, so the wave propagation is always 90 degree. So the wave direction also refract towards, right? Towards the cape, so that it is 90 degree. Yeah, towards the cape and away, away from the bay, right? Away from the bay. So because of that, the energy of the water wave are all concentrated, all focused on the cape area, therefore cause the sea at the cape to be rough. And because energy of the wave is all refracted away from the bay, therefore the sea in front of the bay is very calm. Okay, that's the, that's the reason why uh, uh, hoteliers normally build the hotel at the bay. Or even uh, jetty or harbour, they are all built at the bay so that the ship can dock you know, at the sea that is calm. For hotel that is built at the bay, so at the front, the beach front here, children can play, right? We can swim at the calm uh, sea in front of the bay. Okay, alright, so this is another uh, picture showing how the energy of the wave is refracted towards the cape and away from the shore, right? Towards the cape, away from the shore. Okay, so that caused the beach at the bay to be quiet, but the sea at the cape to be rough. The sea in front of the bay is quiet, yeah? quiet because it's calm. Okay, that's the two uh, phenomena of refraction of water wave in our daily lives. All right, that's all for today's lesson. Bye-bye. We, we will meet again in another video. Bye.